Um, guys, uh, my name's Matthew um, from Cell Block. So we have some uh, battery chargers, some external chargers here that are at 100% state of charge. Um, these seem to be causing a little bit of problems on the aircraft of late, so we thought we would try those. Um, we're going to set one off on the table so that you can see the explosive nature of them on their own. Um, and then we're going to actually take another one and we're going to stick it inside the kit so that people can see what happens when they go off inside the bag. Generally, you know, people start to smell these. They can smell it when you've ever been near a lithium-ion battery fire that goes off. Um, you have some early warning signs. The idea is to actually isolate it, wrap it up in a blanket, stick it inside this kit, close it and not open it. And then, you know, when there is an event, when the plane is on the ground, uh, and the, the, the gear to the proper board. Um, we're going to demonstrate some of the stuff that's in the kit. Um, we have our gloves that come as standard equipment. We have our fire shield blankets, um, which we made in these small sizes all the way up to EV covers, which are on the table over there. These pillows have our fire suppression material inside. They're inside the kit as well. So the gloves that we design, we design with aviation um, flight attendants, crew members in mind. When we first started five years ago, there was a lot of you know, talk about being able to be able to pick something up and, and get it safely isolated into one of our fire containment kits. Gloves that were on the market were bulky. So one of the other problems was, you know, everyone's got so many different size hands. So I was trying to come up with something that was big enough and stretch, you know, for the larger hands, but also small enough so that one size sort of fit all. And this is it. Everyone that leaves today can have a pair. They're in the bucket over there. But the idea is that these textiles are woven and that they go into everything that we manufacture. This torch burns, this cutting torch, it burns at 2,000 degrees. So even though I'm on fire, I'm not on fire. But the idea is to be able to pick something up. It's never going to be as hot as this on the aircraft and be able to safely contain it. This is a polymer pouch. Every one of your cell phones has one of these in it, okay? Use it at 100% state of charge. Okay, so that right there is what a thermal runaway will look like in a cell phone. What we do is we cover and contain. So this textile has got a very low melting point. The idea was that we were trying to design something that was easy to dispense this, which was our way of choking a fire, stealing it of its fuel, right? So if that was a cell phone on an aircraft that was on fire, they would have covered it. They wouldn't have gone and got a bottle of water. They wouldn't have sat there shaking. They would have covered it and they would have used the shield to protect themselves. They could have wrapped it up and they would have dumped it in the bag. It's about doing it as quickly and as effectively as possible and, and as safely as possible. And if you're not in arm's way trying to do this, it's a lot safer. If we were on board the aircraft and you smelled this for a the passenger was saying, my device is getting hot, they'd call the flight attendant, they would come over, and the idea is that at this point nothing's happened yet, they're going to stick it in the kit just in case. I would have picked this up, I would have protected myself with the gloves and the blanket. Once, once they uh, drop it in, they zip it shut, they actually close this flap, they close it down like such. So we're going to monitor this one. Once it's inside the kit, you just sort of leave it. It's going to blow up in there, it'll expand, and you'll know what it happens. This one, we're going to let it go off on the table the way it is. And I'm going to walk up to it. I'm going to cover it with the blanket so that we're protecting the device. Because at this point, if it was to go off rapidly and nobody warned you, like what happened on the aircraft, it just went off. I would have opened the kit. I would have put the blanket down on the ground because it's a shield. I would have probably, if you have more than one kit, you got two blankets but I would have dumped the contents of it onto the blanket so that I see what I'm doing, right? And at that point, then I could have dropped the pillow, I could have covered it, I could have wrapped it up, I could have disposed of it. We 
you can't fight it if you don't see it, right? Blowing that up is just so that you can see the volatility of a 70 watt hour external power bank that's on every airplane you have, right? Because people bring them on board. So the same thing happens to that battery. Happens to the battery it's going right. right now. See what happens if you don't wrap it up, if you don't have it in a kit, what you're looking at. So the device that's inside there in the kit already is already going 